everyone. So today I'm going to be filming my March favorites. First of all, you'll notice that there's a bit of a different background. I feel like every video I film, there's a different background now, but I'm still in my apartment. I was filming it in my living room. You always saw like the background of my living room, but the living room was always dimly lit and so it didn't look right. Or you'd see a white wall behind me, but it was always really hard to get the lighting right because I was using lighting from the side of me, not in front of me. And then I tried filming, and you guys haven't seen a video of this yet, but I tried filming in my bedroom, and that worked out really well, actually. I liked it. But the background was just so boring, and I just missed my little girly room um, at home with the purple walls, and I just missed it. And so I was kind of like looking at my closet, trying to pick out what to wear, and I was like, this would be such a cool background. So I decided to just use this as my background. We'll see how it goes for today. If I don't like the lighting, or if I don't like how it turns out, um, I just won't do this again, but I figure for today, why not? So today's video is obviously, as I said, the March Favorites video, but it's going to be a little bit different because I was going through my products and my fashion pieces and I just wasn't finding much to show you guys. And I realized the reason why is because I just uploaded my Spring Things tag a couple videos ago. And so it would be kind of redundant to show you the same products I showed in that video. For those of you who haven't seen it, again, I will link that down below, but um, in that video, I just talk about all my favorite spring things, whether they be beauty products, fashion items, um, just kind of things to do in spring. I talk about those in that video. So in this video, I would have been showing you pretty much the same products. So I decided instead to share with you some of my favorite fashion bloggers and uh, YouTubers for the month of March. Now, I've been getting really into checking out fashion blogs, and one of the biggest reasons why is because I plan on starting my own. If you guys have been following me for a while, I've already started up a fashion blog, which failed. Then I started up my Tumblr, which I still update kind of, but not very often because I don't really understand how it works. And I finally just realized that the reason why I wasn't um, kind of keeping updated with those blogs wasn't because I didn't have time or because I didn't want to, it's because I didn't really know what content to upload or to, I guess not upload, but to post. Um, and because I didn't have a camera. So my very first favorite, which is not a blogger or not a YouTuber is my new camera. This is Billy. If you don't know that I name all my things, then you're probably wondering why my channel is called Victoria's Closet and not Jessica's Closet because Jessica's my name. It's because I name my mannequin. I name all my things. I'm just weird like that. So this is Billy. I don't know why it's Billy, but I wanted it to be a boy and Billy just kind of kept jumping out at me. So it's Billy. It is a Canon Rebel XS. I got it for a really, really great price and I'd be able to actually start my vlog. So I'm really, really excited. I've been taking some photos. Actually, I'll take a photo of you guys now. I think that'll be fun. I'll post this picture up so now you can see it. But now I just took a picture of you guys, so I have a picture. I should frame that. It's kind of cool. Anyway, this is Billy, and this is what is going to enable me to start up my own fashion blog. Anyway, so that's my first favorite of the month. But what goes along with Billy is that I've been looking up a ton of fashion blogs and really taking the opportunity for the month of March to um, decide what I want in my blog. And so I've been on fashion blogs pretty much nonstop. And I want to share with you some of my absolutely favorite ones because if you're watching this YouTube video, you probably love all things fashion and beauty and that extends beyond YouTube to blogs as well. So these are my favorite um, bloggers and YouTubers for the month of March. If you'd like to see the girls I have listed here, then keep on watching. So the first girl, and this is like my, by far my favorite blog for the month, um, actually one of my good friends, I don't know if she watches these videos actually, so we'll see if she like messages me, but um, Ariel, her and I are like obsessed with this blog now because, and not obsessed in a weird way, just like really really love this blog and are pouring over it because it's so interesting. And this is the daybookblog.com and it's written by Sydney. Now Sydney, from what I gather, is about 23. Um, she was married at 19, about 19, um, to her now husband Tyson. And she just gave birth to a little baby boy, Everett, 
um, I think about five months ago, six months ago, just before Christmas time, I believe. And Everett is absolutely adorable and she dresses beautifully. And I just love, love, love her fashion style. And I also just love her life. Like it's just so much fun to look and she's very open about her life. Um, actually, the daybook started out as more of a lifestyle blog and kind of chronicling her and her husband's marriage as opposed to something fashion related and it slowly morphed into something a little bit more fashion forward. So um, I absolutely love, love, love this blog. Sydney is amazing. I wish I knew her in real life. Like I feel like now I know her because of the amount of personal information she shares, but that's what I love about the blog. I feel like the more personal information a blogger shares, the more you just want to read the blog. So anyway, I love Sydney. I love the daybookblog.com. If you don't check out any other blog, I definitely suggest you check this one out and I will link this blog down below as well as all the other blogs I talk about in this video. The next blog I want to talk about is um, a blog by a girl named Sarah and this is the girlcrushblog.blogspot.ca. Um, Sarah is from Vancouver actually, so she's a fellow Canadian, which I love. And she is very, very girly, but in a practical way. Sometimes you like come across these fashion bloggers whose style you like, but you just think it's so impractical to ever dress like that. You'll never have the opportunity to dress like that ever in your life. So this isn't like Sarah. Sarah is definitely more practical, but still very fashion forward. And I love her look. So the next blog I want to talk about is Blair and she writes for Atlantic pacific.blogspot.ca um, I really like this blog as well it's much more fashion forward the other two I talked about especially Sydney's blog is very very personal like she'll include just as many posts about her husband and about her life and about her son and her family and school and what she's doing as she will fashion posts and I love that Atlantic Pacific is kind of the opposite of that I don't know a lot about her life I don't really know a lot about her but what I can say is that the blog is so well designed and the pictures are so gorgeous that it just makes you want to keep going through them. Um, she's really beautiful and her sense of style is really, really gorgeous and very reminiscent of what I would love to do if I had endless amounts of money. And so I really like checking her out for that reason because of her style and because the photographs are just so well done. I'm not sure who photographs for her, but they're really, really beautiful. So that's where I take inspiration um, from Blair's site. I've got two more bloggers I want to talk about and I'm going to go through them quick because I know this video is already getting a bit long. The first one is KeikoLynn.com. Um, Keiko is just, to me, she's just so reminiscent of like a free spirit. Like you just want to know her and be her friend. Um, I love her sense of style. She's definitely very unique and true to herself with what she wears. And it's very, it's a very girly style that she has mixed with a little bit of edge and I just really like her. I find that she's not like cookie cutter right into each and every trend that's out there but her style is so inspiring. It's so unique and I, anyway I just really really like her and I've um, done a lot of things with my fashion based on her. Um, a really good example of that. Ooh, this is a good thing of having my closet. I could just show you guys stuff. Um, this scarf thing right here. Ooh, it's like a poncho scarf thing and I really really like it. It's supposed to be a scarf. If you look at it, it's just like a huge straight scarf but you wear it around as a poncho. I got inspiration to buy this from her. Um, she had something similar that she was actually selling because she sells some of the designs that she creates. and. Um, they were just all sold out of it so I couldn't buy it anymore and I found that and so anyway she's just she's very inspiring and I really take a lot of my inspiration from her so go check out Keiko Lynn. So the last vlog and I'm gonna be quick with this one is prettyshinysparkly.com. Christina writes for Pretty Shiny Sparkly and she's a personal inspiration to me because she was able to go through med school become an anesthesiologist. I actually don't think she's done med school yet she's got I think another month to go but she's already gotten placed in the hospital near her as an anesthesiologist to start interning or whatever it is that they do there and um, she's also now engaged, so she was able to keep a successful relationship. Plus, she's so successful with her blog. She is extremely successful. Um, a lot of people know about her. Her blog has a ton of hits. And so she was able to maintain all of those things in a very balanced way. And I take such inspiration from that because I will be going to law school in September and I'm a little nervous that I won't be able to balance everything. So if I know she was able to do it, I will too. 
and um, that's why I gained personal inspiration from Christina. But fashion wise, she's also really great because again, she's a med student. Like she's not someone who fashion is her entire life. And so she dresses much more practically and you can really gain inspiration from her because you can literally take the outfits that she's wearing and wear them yourself. It's not like so far out there. Her style is just very practical, very girly, and I absolutely love it. So go check out Christina at um, prettyshinysparkly.com. So that was it with the bloggers. I'm gonna name a few of my favorite YouTubers for the month. I'm not gonna go into much detail about their YouTube channels because it's a lot easier to see them here and you'll probably know a lot of the ones I'm talking about. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail but I'll tell you my top five favorite YouTubers of the moment. First one that I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be Zoella280390. She's a UK beauty, she's absolutely gorgeous and she's so funny and so going and I just love her. Um, plus she shops at um, um, a lot of similar stories that I did when I was out in London and um, her fashion style is really inspiring. She's got a great sense of fashion so I like checking her out for her fashion videos and she's just really fun so that's Zoella. The next one I'm going to be talking about is Tess Christine 123. I believe Tess is a little bit younger than I am but I really like her. She just seems like a genuinely nice person and you want to watch her videos. Number three, and I feel like this will always be one of my favorites, but Dollface Ree is one of my favorite people here on YouTube. Um, I absolutely love this girl. I've gotten a chance to talk to her a little bit and I consider her a friend here on YouTube and I really enjoy watching her videos. She's so going and so much fun. You just can't help but want to watch her videos. Like even if the subject matter isn't something that totally interests you. Um, for example, she's out in the UK, I'm here in Canada. So some of the products she talks about or like the glossy box or whatever I can't get here so it wouldn't be a video that I would normally be attracted to but I watch all of her videos because she's so much fun that I know I'm just gonna have a huge smile on my face while I'm watching so I love Dollface Ree and she's number three this is in no particular order by the way um, number four Dolly Bobo I think is how you pronounce that um, she's really fun her, almost every single video of hers is a haul again she's from the UK as well and she's kind of like the person where when I really really feel like I need to shop instead of going to the mall I'll just watch her videos because it kind of satisfies that craving a little bit and her style is really really pretty and girly and so I love seeing what she has to buy. This girl is someone that I've loved for kind of ever and it's not really a March favorite I would say but she's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, this is um, Kara Emily 09 I think. Oh Kara Emily 03 sorry not Kara Emily 09. Kara Emily 03 and um, I've been watching Kara for a really really long time and I really love her videos and I love her um, hair tutorials she's a hairstylist and so I think that they're really really good every time she posts one I know that um, I'll actually learn something from her um, hair tutorials plus she has a vlog channel called Kara's Life and she talks about her little um, new baby girl Elena there and she's got some vlogs up and I just really like Kara I think she's super fun and um, I just relate to her a lot. So that is my number five YouTuber of this month. So that's it. Those are my favorite bloggers and YouTubers. I'm sorry this video is a little bit long. It's definitely longer than I wanted it to be, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me know in the bar down below if you like these videos, if you'd like to see more of my favorite bloggers or YouTubers each month or every other month or each season or whatever, or if you hate these videos and never want to see them again, just let me know in the comment section down below. Also, please, please, please um, leave any requests for future videos and let me know who your favorite fashion bloggers and, and YouTubers are of the moment because I'm constantly looking for new people to watch or new blogs to follow. It's kind of like my obsession, fashion blogs and YouTube life. If you really, really love someone, then please let me know about them because I would love to hear who you're inspired by. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.